Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a what's in my travel bag video. Kind of like a what's in my bag video, what's in my purse video, what's in my suitcase video. We're gonna be doing a what is in my travel bag video, which is basically just the bag that I carry with me when I am flying and I am traveling. So when I travel, I do not carry a purse. Growing up, I traveled all the time. I would carry so much with me, it was ridiculous. Like I would have a purse and then I would have a carry-on bag and then I would have like a carry-on suitcase and it was just miserable walking to the airport and then you always wanna bring a jacket cause it's always cold and it's just like, it's so much and I personally get very anxious when I travel very easily. Like I can have a very pleasant experience but then like one little thing will set me over the edge and I'll just be like, oh, this is too much, I can't take it. And I just get very stressed out very easily. So I have learned to like condense, like consolidate and make things easier when I travel and keep things as light as possible. So when I am traveling and I am flying, I only bring one bag and that is it. That's the only thing I carry with me is one bag. That way all I have to do is think about this one piece and nothing else and my mind just stays at ease, if you know what I'm saying. These dogs, I'm telling you, these dogs. So as for my actual bag, it is a camouflage green bag, which I love. I absolutely adore camo. I think that it is so fun, especially this bag because of like the gold studs on the side. It just makes it a little bit more girly and glamorous. Some people hate camouflage. I love it. I think it's so fun to work with and I just think it's so cute. Um, I treat camo as a neutral. I know a lot of people I've heard say that they have like a hard time wearing camo and that's why they don't buy it. I treat it like a neutral bag. I wear it the same way I would wear like a black bag or a brown bag. I just use it as my gigantic pop of camo. <laughs> I love, love this bag. I had my eye on it for months before I purchased it and it is amazing. It is so huge. It fits everything in here. Like you could put like a couple of kids in here and you wouldn't even know. It is by Valentino. Yes, it is a designer bag and I do not want to have to go through the whole disclaimer and justifying my purchase because I feel like I have to do that anytime I ever mention anything designer on my channel, but I'm trying to stop that because so many of you guys get after me and you're like, stop justifying your purchases. So I have been listening to you guys recently. So let's move on to what is inside the bag. So the first and most important thing to me when I travel hands down is my iPad. I cannot live without this. If I flew without my iPad, I would probably not get on the plane. Like I'm not even being dramatic. This is so important to me because I am an anxious flyer and I have learned that the only thing that really makes me like Ah, chill and laid back on the plane is watching movies or TV shows or whatever that may be. So this is my iPad mini. Um, I just think it's so much easier and smaller than the regular iPad obviously, but it still gets the job done and I can still watch movies just fine. So the actual case is from Kate Spade. I got it from Nordstrom like a year and a half ago or so and it opens up in the back like a picture frame so you can like rest it. I purchase any movies or TV shows in the iTunes store and then it just downloads directly to your iPad and then you have it right there saved into your videos folder. So these are the movies I currently have on my iPad right now ready to go. I have The Devil Wears Prada, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, It's Complicated, Just Friends, Just Go With It, Just Married, Wow, I didn't realize how many movies I have with the word just as the first word in the title. That's weird. Miss Congeniality, My Best Friend's Wedding, The Other Woman, and Pitch Perfect. I can't wait for Pitch Perfect 2 to come out. <laughs> I also need to download Sex and the City and Bridesmaids. I would love to have those two on here as well. And in TV shows, I have a couple seasons of Friends and the sixth season of Modern Family. So yes, I take my movies very seriously on the plane. As the plane takes off, I'm like getting on my iPad and tuning in. I'm like, okay, time to relax. So next I have my headphones. I've mentioned this in my What's In My Purse video back in the day. These are the exact same headphones. They're the Bose headphones. I swear to God, they're like the best headphones in the world. And what I love about these is not only the sound that it gives, but on top of it, the actual headphone part is super squishy. And you don't realize how much you love that until you need to take a nap on the plane. And if you're watching a movie and you like rest your head, they're squishy and they're like little pillows on the side of your face. Then I just have my wallet, obviously necessary. I have this little, adapter that is really an awesome invention, but it actually doesn't work. Um, I don't know if it's my iPad that is messed up or if it's this adapter that's messed up, but basically what it is is you plug this into your iPad and then two people can both use headphones at the same time. So my mom and I will both watch a movie together at the same time on the iPad with this little adapter. It's from Best Buy, they're inexpensive, they're like nine to 10 bucks, but this one is not working and I actually think it's my iPad because this is the second one that hasn't worked recently, so. <laughs> 
I think it's me. I have a pair of sunglasses. I just bring these for obvious reasons. Um, when I'm in the airport, a lot of times I will wear sunglasses and look like a douchebag because <laughs> I don't like to travel and I just kind of want to be like, leave me alone. So these sunglasses are by Celine. They are gigantic, as you can tell. I look like a bug, um, but that's what makes them perfect for traveling. Because when I travel and I go to LA, I'm taking a very early morning flight. I look like a zombie, and so I bring my sunglasses along to cover up thy face. I have a pair of socks with me because I cannot travel without socks because my feet are always freezing. I am just like such a cold-blooded person. It's so ridiculous, but I even bring socks with me when I go to the movie theater. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, even if I'm wearing heels, I will bring a pair of socks in my bag, like in my clutch, and pull them out and put on socks in the movie theater because my toes are always freezing. It doesn't matter like what temperature I'm in, so I always have to have socks with me, and I love these because it <laughs> legit looks like Frankie and Georgie on here, so always have to have socks. I have a pack of gum. I actually have two packs of gum right here. Um, I have a sleep mask, which is just a standard sleep mask, nothing like super duper cute, but they came with pajama pants that I bought at Victoria's Secret. So I use a sleep mask when I'm on the plane. Like if I'm serious about getting some rest, I'll put on my sleep mask so that I can actually like zone out. I have a little baby tub of body butter. This is by the Blissful Body. As you guys know, I've mentioned the Blissful Body many times. It's my favorite body butter of all time. I could barely get that one out. And so I just carry this with me when I travel because my hands are so dry all the time when I'm traveling. I absolutely hate the feeling of dry hands. And when I travel, my hands get extra dry, not just because of the fact that we're 36,000 feet in the air, but also because I am a little bit of a germaphobe. So I wash my hands constantly when I travel. And the more I wash my hands, the drier my hands get. So I am always using this and it is such nice thick moisturizing body butter I love it then I have a bottle of fix plus I threw this bottle in this bag right before I filmed this video just for the purpose of the video because my mom is actually at the mall right now and she's picking me up another travel size fix plus because I just ran out of it and I don't have it to show you guys anymore um but this is just in here for the purpose of the video but when I actually travel I will have a fix plus but it's a mini travel size bottle and I can't live without that when I travel I will spray fix plus in my face two or three times during the flight and I swear it's just such a lifesaver because all of that recycling air just makes my skin so dry that I'm not joking being dry as it is after getting off of a five-hour flight I'll go like this and I'll be like ah oh, my face feels like it's gonna crack because it just feels so dry so spraying this all over my face a few times during the flight just keeps my skin so hydrated and it is a lifesaver in the side pocket over here I just have my phone charger BYOC <laughs> bring your own charger my phone is constantly dying so I finally learned to carry a charger with me because I cannot stand being in an airport or being anywhere and not having a phone. It's like, I feel like I'm butt naked. And then the last thing in the bag is just this little baggie right here that is just the bag of tricks filled with all sorts of little gadgets. Um, I have an emergency packet, which is just vitamin C. Okay, my camera just like turned off in mid-sentence because it was apparently overheated and I was like, get it together. I have a little mirror in my bag because my entire life, I have never carried a mirror with me. It's so weird, right? Like all the makeup that I have and I do, I never carry a mirror with me. It's so weird. But I'm always asking people, oh, I have something in my eye. Do you have a mirror? Ooh, I need to touch up my lip gloss. Do you have a mirror? And I'm like, get it together, Jacqueline, and get yourself a mirror. So I have this little mirror right here. The House of Lashes sent to me. and It says Lash Game Strong on the back of it. And it's perfect because it's just so tiny and flat. So now I finally have been carrying a mirror recently. And I'm like, yay, I'm an adult. It's the little things. So then I just have fragrance in here. I have three different fragrances. These I bring with me in my bag, even though these are going to be what I use at my destination. So like these are my fragrances that I'll use while I'm on my trip, but I bring them with me because airports can be really disgusting and really disturb me. And like I've said, I'm a germaphobe, so I bring things that smell good because if someone next to me has like rancid BO, I'll just be like So I have Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle, and then I have this one from Anthropology, and I don't, it doesn't even have like a name on it or anything, it smells like a garden. And then I have Daisy by Marc Jacobs, which like I've said before, I bring this with me when I travel because the scent, the scent just makes me think of a wonderful times. It's the scent that I wore on my wedding day, as cheesy as that is. Um, and it just makes me think of good times. It makes me think of John. So I'm out of town and I travel, I smell this and it just takes me to a happy place. Did you know that scent is the number one thing in a human brain to trigger memory? Isn't that crazy? Like out of all of our senses, like a scent can bring back memories, like the easiest and the fastest. Isn't that so cool? 
I love that. This is the Sugar Advanced Lip Treatment by Fresh. This is just like the basic one that doesn't have a tint and it doesn't have um, an SPF in it. It's my favorite one. It smells just like lemonade and it's very moisturizing. And then I have just this little tiny Ziploc baggie. And the reason why I carry this is because you might be wondering like, oh, can you actually take these types of things with you because they're liquid? You can carry liquid with you, anything less than two ounces when you're traveling. Um, but if someone in security is a real stickler, they'll tell you that your liquids have to fit into a small Ziploc bag. So like legit, I bring this with me in my purse and if someone gives me a hard time, I literally take my liquids, put them in the bag and zip it up and then they're like, okay, you're good to go. I know that's the most random thing in the world, right? But this is what I've learned. Your liquids have to be less than two ounces each and they have to all be able to be condensed into a small Ziploc baggie. So there you have it. And then last but of course not least, I have hand sanitizer and tampons. Just keeping it real, okay? So that is it for what is in my travel bag video. Maybe my carry-on video. I'm not really sure what I'm calling this video yet, but yeah, that completes everything that is in my bag for when I am traveling. I feel like it's not that much personally. I am just by nature an overpacker, but this is the place I have come to that this is all I need when I travel and I feel like it's the perfect amount where I'm not overwhelmed, but yet I have everything that I need. So that is how I do it. So. I will actually be in California when this video is uploaded. It's kind of like we're in the future. Not really, but maybe a little bit. This is actually going to be the longest trip that I have taken since I was a teenager. I'm gonna be away from home for 14 days. 14 days, like that's a long time to be gone. I'm gonna miss Chun so much and Frankie and Georgie. Oh my God, Frankie's gonna change so much while I'm gone. It's gonna be weird. I haven't been gone for that long since I was like 16 years old from my home. So it's gonna be really strange, but yeah. I am already looking forward to getting back and getting to my normal routine and filming videos for you guys. And when I get back, I'll finally have my new camera. So I'll be able to do tutorials for you. And the month of September is such a chill month. Like I don't have anything booked in September. So I will literally just be dedicated to YouTube and I'm already looking forward to it. But this trip is so necessary. I have been waiting for this trip. I've had this trip scheduled since March. We are knocking out so many things that need to be taken care of for business. So I'm excited to go and power through the next 14 days. And I will see you guys soon. They say absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? <laughs> I guess we're about to find out if that statement is true. So yeah, thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, and if any of you were wondering what lip color I'm wearing today, it's Veronica Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always up there when you need her.